Hey, this is JD. Welcome to my channel. I'm in a flight simulator, flight planning program called Sim Brief. So I'm going to go through very quickly how to generate a quick flight. So I'm going to call my airline um, JD. Let's just call it, let me see, show my keyboard here. Let's call it uh, JDR. That's my airline and I'm flight number 5050. Let's see, 50, 50. I'm using a pen right now so I could make some small mistakes here. There we go. Now I'm going to depart from Halifax International Airport. So I click that so I can just find Halifax, right? Halifax. There we go. Shearwater, Halifax, Stanfield. This is YHZ. So I select YHZ. And I am going to fly to Newfoundland. So let's go to, let's go to Gander. I keep leaving little pen marks everywhere. Gander. And there we go. And I've got Gander International. And this is where all the planes went um, when 9-11 happened. And all the American or U.S. planes wanted to uh, get there. So so we've got um, this set to auto alternative, if you look, or alternate airport and departure time. Aircraft type, I'm going to select an A320 here. And it just plops in the route here. So there's my route. Um, and I'm not sure if I can draw on this or not. Let me see if I can. No, I can move it around. So there we go. There's the route there. And I can, I can zoom in and zoom out. Is, zoom, is there such thing as zoom out? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it says the uh, this airframe, the default uh, climb profile is there, uh, the cruise altitude the costing index, fuel factors, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, the Iraq data, the operational flight plan layout on the left hand side. And basically you've created yourself a quick flight plan in Simbrief. Now Simbrief um, is a company owned by another company. They were the original company, I guess, that for creating flight plans to allow you to uh, upload the flight plans into Microsoft Flight Simulator. So so there I've got my flight and I'm going to save that flight and I'm going to name save it as a new flight but I'm going to name it so I'm going to go just so I remember um, I'm going to call it H you see HFX uh, to just so I don't have to remember the airport designations Gander G D R. That's good. And I hit that, save that as a new flight. Here we go. And so now I want to generate the flight. So in the upper left hand corner, I just hit generate and it processes the flight and it generates the flight. And there we go. The flight's now been generated. And now all I do is I'm going to open my navigation program. So that is this the navigation program right here. And I look at my flights in the upper left hand corner and I want to unload this flight. This flight here is a flight that I generated from Florida to Varadero in Cuba. And I set the mapping for satellite. If you look at here, I can do a high IFR mapping. There it is there, which gives you all the route data and everything you need for flying. But I would simplified the, all the map gives you all the waypoints and everything else as well so i went down to satellite satellite map i can do world map too and in here use two fingers and just zoom in and here in this particular flight i was taking off from runway 10 and and i was using my departure was mix ae3 as you can see and there's my departure and then i there's my route and my waypoints. And I was looking at uh, highly all the way and down to Veradero. And I said, okay, what's my approach to Veradero runway six? 
And it's a ILS approach to runway six VR511. And I'm gonna fly that later on today. So I'm gonna, I've saved this flight plan. So I'm gonna unload it on the very top next to search and just hit unload. And I wanna import a flight plan. So let's hit import. And I'm importing this from SimBrief. So let's hit SimBrief here. And you can see that um, there is a flight. Where is that flight? I think this is the JDR 5050. Uh, is that one going to get me there? Let me look. You just hit the upload. And yes, that's the flight there from Halifax to Newfoundland. Now, in this case here, it says there's one departure available. Uh, let's have a look at what that is. It's runway 32. And there's my departure. So I'm just going to hit add to route. And let's see what happens. And if you look at that, I've got the departure here, and there's the Halifax International Airport. And there's zoom in here. Does that have the runway designation on the end? I think it does. Runway 32. There's runway 32. Yeah, and I'm taking off from runway 32. And there's my departure. Uh, CYH. Is that my departure? Let me see. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So it's a CYHZ4 departure. You can see that in the middle there. There we go. We go to that waypoint, take a hard right. <laughs> and then I'm following my flight path all the way to first waypoint is IG TAS. And, and then I'm following 46, 46 North. Let's say northwest, northeast. It should have been northeast. 77 degrees anyway. So you can see that 77 degrees. So I could set that on my autopilot or just make the autopilot fly this route. So now I've got, I'm going to Gander, Eyes device that builds the boats. And I've been actually to Gander many times over the years as I used to uh, do work with the Cormorant search and rescue helicopters. And now I've got an arrival in Gander, and if you can see over in the left-hand side, it says seven approaches available, and I have to select one of seven approaches. And now I look down at the approach plates and say, what do I want to do? I want an ILS landing, and let me just zoom in here a bit. So where the heck am I? Boy to Jesus. There we go there. So let's go for, there's Gander there. Gander International Airport. And let's take, I can highlight this, this actually um, just by touching the root. I think I just touched the root and then I highlight it. Uh, let's take runway three final. That's a nav runway three. Let's go for ILS runway three. And my transition, I'm trying to figure out which run transition I want. The YXZ, yeah, with L, YXZ transition. So I'm just said add that to the root. Let me just look at that. So that is, ooh, it's pretty ugly. No, that's not bad. Yeah, that's a YXZ transition to runway three. Um, just thinking if that's good enough. Yeah, fly to my alternative. It's my holding pattern over here. If I'm told that I can't land, I gotta go over there and go do circles for a while. And this is YXZ. Let me think. Uh, yeah, I guess I can do that. So there we go. That's my that's my route to Gander. And that's as simple as it is. This program also you can look at your route in two dimensions. So or three dimensions, I guess, but I'm not sure how useful this is, but there it is. So if I zoomed in, does it give me altitude? Uh, I don't think it does. Let me just look over here. Yeah, it does, it's not really giving me any altitude data. So. so anyway, and I can do flight following now. So if I just, there's my route. Um, and if I just click this little button right here, I'm not connected to the simulator. So this will show in the simulator. Let me just go back to my root button. There it is. And this little triangle here <clears throat> will give me that in the simulator. So 
But if I want to look at my approach, I go down to the very bottom and I've selected root um, right here. As you can see, it's flashing a bit. And if I hit airport here, it'll bring up the plate and it'll actually show where you are when you land. So you can use this route to help guide you to the right gate, which is superb as far as I'm concerned. So I just hit the, that and for Halifax, I can look at my departure in Halifax. And there's the building at the very end uh, that I used to work in. So this building right next to A at the very end, I spent 10 years in that building. 10 years. So there's my departure runway 32 over on the right. And it's all set. So I'll go down below and press that, that little button again that says 109 airport info. And that goes away. And there's my route. And I'm all ready to fly. So that's uploaded. And that is, if I look at settings here, I get all my settings here feet, meters, uh, the map, the tilt they have i can do a tilt if i want to uh, the, the uh i get projection data i can add a route i can do all kinds of stuff here so i can hide this and then x this out so i don't have to look at it um, and there's my route so that's all i wanted to do is say here's a simple way of generating a quick flight plan um, and this is the same exact same flight plan that you would generate in other programs like ForeFlight, for example. I do have a ForeFlight. I do have a uh, subscription to ForeFlight, but this particular program, um, uh, I think it's called Navigraph. It connects directly to your Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you look in the bottom, uh, bottom right-hand side, you can see a little white uh, right down below, down, you can't see me pointing, but Navigraph with the Jepson the Jepson maps are in there, so it's all very cool. So this will do flight following. Um, once you pin it, like I said before, if you collect that, it's a little warning because it says it needs to be connected through SimLink to your flight simulator. So you can Google all that stuff to figure out how to connect it. And there's plenty of videos online. I just wanted to make a very quick, uh, very quick, there's a bunch of airports in flight, very quick uh, video. Um, it'll also show other aircraft movement. So, and I won't go into that, but uh, telemetry, weather, I can get weather data here on this. Uh, I can get uh, telemetry data, which once I'm flying in the bottom tells me my indicated airspeed, my altitude, my vertical speed, et cetera, et cetera. So, and again, uh, what is this? This is daytime, nighttime, and all my layers that I want to put in here. So, so there you go. That's a very quick, like super quick flight plan.